Donald Trump walked down the steps of the Boeing 757 that bears his name, walked across a rain-soaked tarmac and, after twice missing the handle, climbed into the passenger seat of a white garbage truck that also carried his name. The former president known for his showmanship wanted to draw attention to a remark made a day earlier by his successor, Democratic President Joe Biden, that suggested that Trump supporters were garbage. Trump has used the remark as a cudgel against his Democratic rival, Vice President Kamala Harris. How do you like my garbage truck? Trump said, wearing an orange and yellow safety vest over his white dress shirt and red tie. This is in honor of Kamala and Joe Biden. Facing pushback of their own for a comment by a comedian at a weekend Trump rally that disparaged Puerto Rico as a floating island of garbage, Trump and other Republicans seized on a comment by Biden on a late Wednesday call in which he said, the only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. The president clarified himself afterward, saying he his demonization of Latinos is unconscionable, Biden said. That's all I meant to say. are not garbage. I can tell you who the real garbage is, but we won't say that. All right, guys. Democrats have done a very poor job. We're leading in every in every state. Uh, we're leading big, and I think that the comment made by really both of them, because there are really two of them, uh, about being garbage, maybe 250 million people, uh, they shouldn't be talking. That's like deplorable for Hillary. This is the deplorable for Hillary, and uh, I think this is worse, actually. For Joe Biden to make that statement, it's really a disgrace. I love Puerto Rico, and Puerto Rico loves me. I don't know. I don't know anything about a comedian. I just, I love Puerto Rico. Nobody's done more for Puerto Rico than me. I, I took care of them when they had the big hurricanes, and nobody, nobody gets along better with Puerto Rico and the Puerto Rican people than me. They love me, and I love them. So, what do I want? I don't know anything about the comedian. I don't know who he is. I've never seen him. Uh, I heard he made a statement, but it was just a statement that he made. He's a comedian. What can I tell you? I know nothing about him. I don't know why he's there. You put comedians up, and uh, I guess he went on earlier in the show. I don't know who he is. How do you like my garbage truck? This truck is in honor of Kamala and Joe Biden. But I just wanted to let you know that 250 million people, that's what I think the real number is for making America great again. 250 million, the real number. They don't think in terms of garbage, okay? They don't use terms like that. And it's a shame. And Joe Biden should be ashamed of himself if he knows what he's even doing. And she should be ashamed because she shouldn't let him do it. She's the vice president, but I assume she's acting as the president. She should never have let that happen. I hope you enjoyed this garbage truck. Thank you very much. Thank you, Press. 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 Let's go. Let's go.
Kamala Harris promised Tuesday to put country above party and above self in the closing argument of her presidential campaign, delivering her message from the same site where Donald Trump fomented the Capitol insurrection to emphasize the sharp choice voters face. One week out from Election Day, the vice president used the address from the grassy ellipse near the White House to pledge to Americans that she would work to improve their lives while arguing that her Republican opponent is only in it for himself. Unlike Donald Trump, I don't believe people who disagree with me are the enemy, Harris said. He wants to put them in jail. I'll give them a seat at my table. And I pledge to be a president for all Americans. To always put country above party and above self. The vice president also pledged to restore the abortion rights that were overturned by the Supreme Court in 2022. I will fight to restore what Donald Trump and his hand-selected Supreme Court justice took away from the women of America, Harris said. The Supreme Court, with three Trump appointees justices, overturned federal protections of abortion in 2022. Abortion has since become one of the most motivating issues for the Democratic base in the 2024 election. But I know that many of you are still getting to know who I am. America, we know what Donald Trump has in mind. More chaos, more division, and policies that help those at the very top and hurt everyone else. I offer a different path. And I ask for your vote. And here is my pledge to you. I pledge to seek common ground and common sense solutions to make your life better. I am not looking to score political points. I am looking to make progress. I pledge to listen to experts, to those who will be impacted by the decisions I make, and to people who disagree with me. Unlike Donald Trump, I don't believe people who disagree with me are the enemy. He wants to put them in jail. I'll give them a seat at the table. I pledge to you to approach my work with the joy and optimism that comes from making a difference in people's lives. And I pledge to be a president for all Americans. And to always put country above party and self. And I believe in the fundamental freedom of Americans to make decisions about their own bodies and not have their government tell them what to do. I will fight to restore what Donald Trump and his hand-selected Supreme Court justices took away from the women of America. women in America, think about it. And look, I think we all know, one does not have to abandon their faith or deeply held beliefs to simply agree the government should not be telling her what to do with her body. Not the government. And when Congress passes a bill to restore reproductive freedom nationwide, as President of the United States, I will proudly sign it into law. Proudly. I will strengthen, not surrender, America's global leadership. And I will stand with our friends because I know that our alliances keep American people safe and make America stronger and more secure. 
Look, world leaders think that Donald Trump is an easy mark. Easy to manipulate with flattery or favor. And you can believe that autocrats like Putin and Kim Jong-un are rooting for him in this election. I will always uphold our security, advance our national interest, and ensure that the United States of America remains as we must forever be a champion of liberty around the world.